Good day class. I am Engineer Marion James Pilaga, your instructor for this subject, Physics for Engineers. Our first lesson will be about the conversion of units. So, there in the module, there are tables of conversions that I have uh, paste into it in order for you to know the different conversions of your two main systems of units. So, why do we need to have a proper conversion of units? Particularly when you are solving subjects, uh, problems in different subjects, especially in mathematics, you will encounter different types of units. There are two basic systems of units that are uh, that we are using, especially in physics. So, number one is about your SI unit, which is also called a short M. KS or your meter kilogram second this was developed by the French and number two is your what you call your English unit English unit or your US customary unit okay this is also known as your F P S your for your feet Pound seconds. So, these two systems of units are the main uh, systems of units that are used in our subject. So, you can see that these SI units can be classified as meter, kilogram, and seconds for your length mass and time and for your English you have your feet pound and seconds for your length mass and time so since I have already paced the different conversion of this unit into your module so we'll, we will discuss the use of these conversion factors so, I will discuss by giving you examples. So, first, let us convert your uh, conversion of length. Conversion of length. Conversion of length. So, our first example will be, let us convert your kilometers, one kilometer to blank is equal to blank fit okay so how will we do this one so if you have or if you opened or downloaded your modules so let us solve this problem we have one kilometer so we all know that one kilometer is equal to one thousand meter right so one thousand meter divided by kilometer so cancelling out your kilometer we have your 1000 meter and we all know that your one feet is equal to uh one meter is equal to 3.28 feet per meter cancelling out your meter so we will have 3280 feet there are 3280 feet per kilometer Next, let us convert yards to feet. So, let's say we have a 5 yard, which is equal to how many feet? Take note that 1 yard is equal to 3 feet. Tama? So, therefore, I may say that 5 yards multiplied by 3 feet per yard it is equal to 15 feet. So therefore, in every 5 yards, we can have a length of 15 feet. Next is your conversion for your velocity. So if you have a conversion for velocity, let's say I will have a 1 mile per hour velocity 
how many kilometers can kilometers per second can it be? So, how will we solve this one? Okay, the key is to first use the table and then after using the table, uh, solve and solve and solve until you will memorize its conversion. So, 1 mile per hour is equal to black kilometers per second. So, what will be our multiplying factor? So, we may solve this one by 1 mile per hour. So, multiplied by, we all know that 1 mile is equal to 5 to 80 feet per mile. Multiplied by 1 feet, uh, 1 meter is equal to 3.28 feet multiplied by our 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meters so and also we have our 1 hour is equal to 3600 seconds so take that that you can use another method in solving this one as long as you will arrive to kilometers per second okay so let us cancel the different or the equal terms My, because miles divided by miles is equal to 1 kilometers divided by kilometers is equal to 1 also hours divided by hours is equal to 1 right okay so canceling out the similar units so we'll have 1 multiplied by 5 to 80 is 1 divided by 3.28 times 1 all over 1000 times 3600 we will have a value equal to 4.47 times 10 raised to negative 4 kilometers per second next is let us convert your 5 kilometers to hour, per hour to meters per second and feet per second. Okay, so 5. So convert. Convert 5 kilometers per hour to meters per second and feet per second okay so first let us try your a two meters per second so how will we do this one let's go back to the basic so we have five kilometers per hour multiplied by one hour is equal to three thousand six hundred seconds multiplied by 1000 meters per kilometer so canceling out the units the similar units so we'll have 5 times 1000 divided by 3600 so we'll have 1.39 meters per second okay at b to feet per second to feet per second so we have five kilometers per hour multiplied by one hour divided by three thousand six hundred seconds times one thousand meter per kilometer multiplied by our conversion to from meter to feet so we have 3.28 feet per meter cancelling out your similar units so we have 1.39 meters per second multiplied by 3.28 feet so we'll have a value equal to 4.592 feet per second 4.5592 feet per second but, but definitely you may 
approximate it into 4.46 feet per second. So if you do not know yet the concepts of the different conversion factors, so just go back to our table on the first part of our module. Okay, so next is you will convert your volume. Okay, let us convert your volume. Conversion of volume. So take note that I will use uh, 1 liter, 1 meter, 1. Huwag yung sabihin madali because I will just want you to know the different multi multiplying factor to each of the conversion. So conversion of volume. So, let us convert your 1 meter cube to inch cube. So, how will you do that? So, like the other concepts that I have discussed in the first example, so therefore we have your 1 meter cube times there are 1000 centimeter per meter. So, put a bracket in this indicating that you first multiply it to those uh, terms that are inside the bracket multiplied by 1 inch is equal to 2.54 centimeter cube. Why do we need to cube it? Take note that we are considering this meter cube. So therefore, in order to cancel out your meter cube, we must also cube, have the cube, or to cube the terms inside the uh, bracket. So after making it, so we'll have a value equal to, so we'll cancel out your centimeter. So we'll have, take note that 1 centimeter is equal to 100, uh, 100 centimeters equal to 1 meter so that is error so 1 times 100 divided by 2.54 raised to 3 so we'll have a value equal to 6,123 6,123 uh, 61,023 as uh, inch cube per meter cube per meter cube okay take note that there is this constant outside the bracket so cancelling out that constant so we will have a 6123 inch cube or you may write it into its scientific notation which is equal to 61 Point zero twenty three times ten raised to three inch cube. Okay, or you may write it as sixty one k for one thousand inch cube. Okay, so that is for your prefixes. So your prefixes and suffixes are also indicated on the first part of your module. Next is we will convert your 1 liter to feet cube. 1 liter into feet cube. So how will you convert this one? Take note that your 1 liter is equal to 1000 centimeter cube right so therefore i may say that one liter multiplied by 1000 centimeter cube divided by one liter so multiplied by take note that there is in every inches there is 2.54 centimeter so one inch divided by 2.54 centimeter multiplied by there are, in every 1 feet, we have 12 inches. 
So, pag nakalimutan nyo na yung 1 feet is equal to 12 inches, go back to your ruler. Take note that 1 foot or your one of your one foot of your ruler, there are 12 inches. So, cube, right? So, we'll have a value equal to 1 all over 2.54 times 12 raised to 3. We'll have a value equal to 3.53 times 10 raised to negative 5. So, we will cancel out your inches. So, we will have your feet cube divided by centimeter cube, right? So, notice that I did not yet eliminate the units in order to avoid confusion per liter. Okay. Actually, knowing the different units will also give you the hint in order to attack the problem. Okay. So, if you know that the velocity has a unit of meters per second, feet per second, and there are given terms that you cannot understand, but you know the, uh, you, can, you know the unit, so therefore you can arrive to a formula. Okay. So, eliminating the different or the similar units so liters for liters centimeter cube per centimeter cube so we have 3.53 times 10 raised to negative 5 multiplied by our 1000 we will have a value equal to 0 0.0353 feet cube or you can uh term it as 0 0.0353 milli, right, for negative 3, okay, so uh, 35.31 times 10 raised to negative 3 feet cube, or this can be rewritten into its scientific notation, which is 35.31 milli feet cube. That is the beauty of our conversion. Alright. For the last example for this conversion exercise is that let us convert your 1 gallon to inch cube. 1 gallon to inch cube. So take that, that if you will use 1 as your constant, you can, you are also finding for the multiplier in order to get or in order to convert it immediately, right? So, we have our inch cube. So, we have our 1 gallon, 1 gallon times there are 3.78 liters per gallon. And take note that we have our 1,000 centimeter cube per liter, right? So, multiplied by 1, uh, there are, in every inch, we have 2.54 centimeter, right? Cube. Don't forget the cube, this one. Uh, if you will convert the different units inside a cube or QB or an exponent, you must convert it uh, immediately inside. Uh, never be confused that you might cube the unit but you did not convert the constant that would be or that would lead to a wrong answer. So, let's say we have a 1 gallon times 3.78 liters per gallon times 1,000 times 1 divided by 2.54 raised to 3. Okay? So, we'll have a value equal to 230.669 5 
inch cube. Or it is approximately equal to 231 inch cube. Okay. So, very easy, right? 231 inch cube. So, this is just an introduction for your conversion. In the next video, we'll give you a hint on how to use this conversion into a real life problem or into a physics problem okay